the James Webb Space Telescope is unveiling the universe in an unprecedented way, showing us truly shocking events. This telescope has been instrumental in revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos, giving us the ability to explore the depths of the universe. Recently, it has made a truly astonishing discovery. It has detected 700 galaxies trapped in a black hole, including Stefan Quentin, a group of five interacting galaxies. We will dwell deeper into this discovery and how it impacts both us and our conception of the universe. What we are seeing here is the chemical signature of water vapor. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped with an array of advanced scientific instruments carefully designed to observe the universe at an unprecedented range of wavelengths. With a main mirror more than 6.5 meters in diameter, this telescope exceeds inside its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. This allows the JWST to collect and focus light from distant celestial objects with unmatched precision and sensitivity. Instruments include a powerful near-infrared camera, a mid-infrared spectrograph, and a stateless spectrograph. These instruments work together to capture images, measure spectra, and study the properties of objects ranging from the oldest galaxies to the planets of our solar system. What are the wonders we can find in the universe are black holes. These are cosmic entities that originate from the gravitational collapse of massive stars. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it experiences a cataclysm known as a supernova. During this process, the outer layers of the star are ejected into space, leaving behind a dense core. If the mass of this core exceeds a certain critical threshold, approximately three times the mass of our Sun, the gravitational forces become so intense that they cause an event more pronounced collapse, resulting in a singularity at the center. A singularity is a point of infinite density and gravity which cannot be observed directly. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has the ability to observe beyond what any other technology has yet achieved. One of the most surprising discoveries made by this telescope is the existence of 700 galaxies inside a black hole. This finding challenged the conventional understanding of how black holes work. A fundamental characteristic of a black hole is in its event horizon, an invisible boundary beyond which escape becomes impossible, even for light. This boundary marks the point at which the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes so intense that not even photons, which are the fastest particles in the universe, can cross it. Any object or radiation that crosses this threshold is inexorably pulled toward the singularity at the heart of the black hole, a destination of no return. But most surprising of all, the extreme gravitational attraction near a black hole gives rise to a phenomenon known as a time dilatation. What happens in this situation is that as objects approach the event horizon of a black hole, time appears to pass more slowly compared to observers farther away from the black hole. This phenomenon, predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, is due to the warping of space-time caused by the intense mass of the black hole. The event horizon is not a solid physical surface like the crust of a celestial object, but represents a mathematical boundary, beyond which the structure of space and time behaves in a way that defies our intuition. The presence of an event horizon around black holes is what makes their direct study difficult, but this does not mean that it is completely impossible. Their influence on the surrounding space can be detected through the effects such as gravitational lensing, which is a distortion of light caused by the immense gravity of the black hole. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. When massive objects, such as black holes, warp the fabric of space-time around them, light from distant objects passing near 
these massive bodies experiences a blending in its path. This results in a visual distortion or magnification of the object's image. Massive bodies, such as stars or black holes, are especially effective in causing significant gravitational lensing due to their immense gravitational attraction. Black holes, in particular, represent one of the most extreme examples due to their incredible mass and compact size, leading to very pronounced lensing effects. When light from a background object, such as a star or a galaxy, approaches a black hole, it follows a curved path in space-time around the black hole, which causes the light to deviate from its original path. If the alignment is right, the deflected light rays can converge on a focal point, creating a discernible image of the background object. By the way, have you ever heard of white holes? The concept of a white hole arises from the mathematical solutions to Einstein field equations in the theory of general relativity. These solutions suggest the existence of regions in space-time where matter and energy emerge in a matter analogous to how they are attracted to black holes. The distinguishing feature of a white hole is that it only allows matter and energy to float outward. Nothing can cross its event horizon, from the outside to the inside, which distinguishes it primarily from black holes. Now, in theoretical discussions of white holes, intriguing questions have arisen about their temporal properties. For example, it has been speculated that the flow of time inside a white hole could be reversed, raising scenarios that challenge our conventional understanding of casuality. One of the most interesting aspects of white holes is their possible relationship to black holes. Some scientists have proposed the idea of a wormhole, connecting a black hole and a white hole, suggesting that they could be different manifestations of a unified phenomenon. According to this idea, matter falling into a black hole could emerge from a white hole in a different region of space-time or even in another universe. This raises the possibility that the 700 galaxies detected in a black hole may have ended up there because of a white hole, and therefore we are only seeing part of the story. Furthermore, this idea relates to the concept of the multiverse, which postulates the existence of multiple universes, each with its own physical laws, constant, and conditions. These universes could coexist alongside our own, offering a wide variety of diverse realities within the framework of the multiverse. The hypothesis that black holes serve as cosmic gateways or connection between different regions of the multiverse, or even with other galaxies, is based on the extraordinary gravitational force X exerted by black holes, which can significantly bend and warp space-time. What do you think? Let me know in the comments box, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.